found out the U-Haul trailer tires a bit low on the pressures, a little bit flat just on the bottom there. It's pretty good the rest of the way around. Morning folks, we're off on another adventure. As you can see we've got a car trailer hooked up so that means something exciting is happening. Welcome to Smoother's Backyard, come along for the journey. Oh, it's kind of still there, I don't know if you can get it to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's interesting like this. So the fire, obviously, heat damage through to here, and may, this may or may not be affected. That was actually fully rebuilt as well, but I wouldn't guarantee that because of the yeah. heat. So, so yeah. that's pretty much anything in the engine bay, I wouldn't guarantee it at all. I'd just yeah. be like, yeah, that's pretty much the top. So yeah, there is a backstory to the what happened with the fire with um, Betty White. Uh, I bought the car off a fellow called Ray who swapped his motorbike for it, a Harley, probably about five years ago he said. And he's had it and he's slowly done it up over that time but he said he put most of the work into it in the past 12 months uh, before the fire happened just in January, it's now May. So um, just before the fire he, he decided he, he, he wanted to put it up for sale. He had a buyer. The buyer was coming to pick it up the very next day when tragically the car um, got burned out. Now, the story goes he went to his parents' property, uh, which is out in the country. He parked it in their shed. They were off having lunch in the house. A neighbor phone gave him a quick call and said, hey, I think your shed's on fire. They all ran down there quickly doused the flames before the shed and everything went up and uh, this was the result. It's a write-off and he was insured, he was insured with Shannon's, he said they were really good to deal with. Uh, he, had, he had ticked the option to salvage the car after the insurance assessment so he got the car back. Um, he decided that he wouldn't part it out, he couldn't deal with looking at it all the time and and just dealing with the public in you know sell, trying to sell bits so he decided he'd sell it as a job lot we were lucky enough to jump on it straight away and pick it up even though he had counter offers after he agreed to sell it to us for his asking price uh, so you know we got a good deal people were actually offering more money for for than what we ended up paying for it so uh, you know honour to him because he listened to our story and what we're doing with Krusty he said, no, nah, I'm not selling it to someone else. I'm going to hold it for you. And we went and picked it up yesterday. So the white ZH Fairlane has already, was christened before we got it. It, it is called Betty White. Um, Ray had, had already christened it Betty White and we're continuing to call it Betty White for the time that we've got it. Um, there's going to be a union, of course, <laughs> between Betty White's parts and Krusty. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I think the body's gone, but we might be able to save the front end. If somebody needs a ZH front end, we'll probably take, pull all that off. It's only got some minor heat damage there, but the, the panel's still straight. It still looks really good. It's just uh, paint's burnt off a bit. So, yeah, look, this is, yeah, this is Betty White, and we're gonna continue now to strip it down get all the parts off that we need to put on to Krusty.
So yeah, first thing we're going to do is just take the front clip off, front guards, nose cone. One under there, one in front. Might have to come around the wheels a bit, pull it out, pull it out at the back to come around the wheels. Just a bit hung up on a wheel. And put it down there. Just put it down. We should have been videoing. <laughs> it was a rainy day outside, so we thought we'd do something inside because, you know, Betty White's there. But Krusty, originally we weren't going to take the guards off, but I'm sort of glad we are now because um, we got in under there and we wire wheeled everything and sprayed it all in the sort of underbody like rust treated it first, sprayed it, and then we thought we'll take the guard off. We took the guard off the other side and this side just now. And you know, look at this. I know we've showed so much dirt coming out of this car, but that's just piles. It's piles of dirt. I'm gonna drop it down there and make a mess. But I'll get a screwdriver. <laughs> But again, it's solid. Red dirt, just you know, just caked on. And come up here, and the car was out in the rain for a week or so, just before we brought Betty White home. So it got wet, and this is why cars rust out because. There's mud now in there. It's just mud. Luckily, you know, if you leave that, that's it's just gonna rust, but luckily that's solid. There's no ru no rust there. I'm gonna take all this um, body filler or what no, you call it, seam sealer or whatever it was out because it's crusty. And we'll re redo that. But that seam sealer came all the way down here and underneath it, it looks worse, but it's still solid. So we'll get this out. And check under it. There you go. Mud under it. Yeah. No, I was thinking it was going to be a hole. A little bit of rust just there, maybe. Or is it just mud? And I'd say it's a little bit of flaky rust, but there's no holes. It's still, it's still solid, solid as. That's good. While Lawson's busy wire wheeling over there, I'm just going to climb under Betty White here and have a look at what it's going to take to get this um, rear axle assembly out. Sorry for the noise, but yeah, Lawson's wire wheeling and it's got to be done. Uh, yeah, there's our nine inch dip. I've disconnected the shocks and the uh, sway bar already. I've also, um, we dropped the tail shaft out. There's the uh, two, two and a half inch, by the looks of it, um, twin pipes. Mufflers, they have a name, can't remember. Hurricane, maybe? Hurricane? Um, yeah. I've got to get in here and it's not focusing on there real well, but this is the um, handbrake cable. Got to get in there and detach that from the brakes so I might have to come and 
pop the cable off all the way up to the front of the car to get that off. And it's only the handbrake cable and undo the actual brake lines. And that's about it. I've, I've, like I said, I've, I've detached the, um, the shockies. I've detached the sway bar from the, the sway bar links. And um, yeah, it's just brakes. Handbrake cable and brake um, hydraulic brake cables. Just got to detach those. Then I should be able to come and um, undo the bolts at the spring ends, knock them out and drop the whole thing to the ground. Now you would say it would be much easier to do to get the handbrake cable undone if I took the wheel off. Hmm. So the problem there is um, these locking nuts. We don't have a key, a key socket for that. So I've been all around town, I've asked every single shop and tire place in town, nobody has that type. So uh, I'm, I've got back onto the previous owner. He's going to hunt around, and see if he can figure out where he got these from because the, the locking key was in the car when it caught fire. And I've actually searched through the rubble inside the car in the hopes that maybe it survived, even though it could have melted. Um, but I can't find it anyway. So, uh, and it's so tight. It's such a tight space between the wheel body here and the and the edge of that locking nut you can't even get a socket over it to get one of those um, undo anything sockets or even just a socket that you could bash onto it it's just going to damage the wheel right here so our only other option maybe is to weld a nut on there but at this stage I can't get Easily, I haven't got easy access to the handbrake cable, so I might just have to loosen it off from the front of the car and let it dangle and drag around with you. Hello, Woody. What's Woody doing? Huh? Uh. I just want to have a quick look at this. That's the handbrake cable that comes from the front of the car to this little mount here. Not sure if the ZG has that, so if you want to use it, we might have to cut that off. It comes back to the linkage point here where it joins to the rear cable. So this is a lever and it's joined to this little um, subframe here and it's welded here and here. So if um, Krusty doesn't have that, then we can cut that off there and there and weld it on and use this. But I just wanted to show you how this goes together. So I'm going to pull this little pin out here and this pin out here. Um, and get that out and that'll free all that up to be loose right to the back of the car. <laughs> I'm just going to, I've got the handbrake cable off, but it's going to be hung up on the exhaust. So I'm going to undo the exhaust from the back of the extractors or headers if that's what you want to call them and uh, so if I can split that oh it might be a 13 sorry Lawson yeah not 12 13 13 yeah close enough it's probably half inch don't have half inch so well not a I don't have a half inch socket for my half inch socket set. I have one for my, uh, whatever it is, quarter inch, whatever the smaller one is. That's in do it up mode. I want it in undo it mode. Got it. That's one. And now you guys and the camera there might be in the way. Spin on the other side. That's it. Bolt out. Bolt out. Oh, there's 
bits of that one. <laughs> How do you get to that one? Crikey. It's, there's a uh, transmission support um, thing in the way. Oh, got it. Yeah, probably not. Was there one more up here? Was there only three? One, two, three. Only three. That one doesn't want to back out. Okay. It'd be easier if the front of the car was jacked up, not the back. But I'm not going to change that for this. Right now. Oh, that one was easy, didn't it? Those ones. Oh, they're going to come out. That's good. Those bolts are out. This top one's just jammed in there. On this side. Not at the top. Oh, that's got it. Freed it up, kind of. Yeah, that uh, transmission cross member is right where that is. Yep. Gasket. Good. Because now I can get that between there. Kind of, maybe. Yep. Yep. That's the other gasket. There we go. Alright, well, they're now free from the extractors. All right, that lets me get to this part of the cable here, which is the last clip. I've got all the others off on the other side. And that one. And should be able to pull that through. Maybe. What's going to happen there? Cable out. There we go. So now I can probably get in behind the wheel and unhook those handbrake cables. Wilson's been wire wheeling away while I've been under the under Betty White getting that handbrake cable out. It's starting to look nice and clean. Still got to get in here and dig this um, seam sealer out. It's a bit rubbery. It was crusty on top. It's still rubber, a bit rubbery underneath. But yeah, starting to look good. You just see how clean it is underneath. It's, you know, it's such a clean car if in, you know, all relative, like relative to its age and its status, you know, how long it's been sitting out in the weather. Even up under there. I was thinking that was rust then, but it's not, it's dirt. It needs, needs cleaning. Yep, all good. Hey, Lawson. What are you using your toothbrush here, are you? <laughs> Don't brush your teeth with that. Sure. This is my daily toothbrush. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be nasty. Right, and back under Betty White, in the handbrake cable. I'm going to follow that up into the other side of the spring. So as you can see, so much easier with the wheel off, but can't do that right now. But there it is. So. If you can see it. Yep, that bit there. Oh yeah, look, that's gonna be easy now to swing that down. Swing it down and I'll go around the back. Around the back. At least around the back here I've got, you know, two two feet to work under. And um, I don't know if you can see that in there either. A bit of grass is in the way. That's that just hooks hooks in over there but once you can pull it down in that direction you can hopefully work it out of there and there we go that's it that's all that holds it in it's just comes out in that direction but once it's pulled that way it can't come out all right handbrake cable fully detached uh, now we've got hydraulic brake lines 
And that's this one up here that runs up, attaches up in front of the diff. Probably that one there would be suffice. It would, if we can somehow undo that from the soft cable. Hmm, looks ominous. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to pull the bolts out of the um, spring hangers. I've just got that jack under there to take a little bit of weight off it and hopefully I can knock those out and one side at a time drop that axle down to the ground. All right I've got everything disconnected from the diff now. The only thing remaining are these spring hangers. Get those bolts out. So I've got the automotive tools, um, the claw hammer, and I've just got a. It's not the easiest to get to this bolt up here, as far as being able to knock it through. But I've got a little bar. Hopefully, it won't go around the corner, but. Maybe I'll get another bolt. Oh no, it's all good. It's going to come out. I don't know if I can turn it the rest of the way out. I'm not sure if it's coming out. Yep, there we go. Bolt is out. Bolt was in through here. Can you get under there? That come out of here. Bolt through the front spring hanger. Not too tight. No. We'll have to take both sides off. The exhaust is going to be in the way, isn't it? Of course. It won't fit up there. Do 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 spin a time. Break it down. So I'm primarily a woodworker. So my pry bar might look different to yours. Oh, this one. You probably got one of those. That smack me on the head, do I? One side's unbolted, so I'm going to let the jack down and hopefully it'll come down with it. There we go. All right, that's good. It's on. It's come out at the front and the back. I'm just going to jack it back up and put this block under there, so I've haven't got a, a twist. In the, like a tension on the um, on the other side and the, and the diff, so we're going to unbolt the other side now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the 
hanger that I was trying to describe before. It's a, <laughs> when I say it's an L, it's, it's the hanger with a bolt that's welded on. And then the other one's the opposite, hangs down with a bolt that goes this way. So you gotta take a moment to get out. But that's now free. So the whole thing's free now. All we gotta do, hopefully, is let it down and drag it out. <laughs> yeah. Yep. See it, take the jack away. You ready? Are we ready? <laughs> Here goes wood. Alright, grab the wheel on that side. We should be able to wheel it out backwards. Tires are flat, of course. Ooh, mightn't fit under the car, eh? It's not going to fit. Um, does it fit your side? Is it going to fit under your side? No. no. Alright. Tires, they're in the way. Right, hang on. It's good over this side as well. Is it? I'll drag the whole thing out if you can. We'll just stand this up a bit. Grab your side and drag it out like this. Who just thought there'd be a house in the way? Push it this way. This way. Well, there's a house in the way, but you get the idea. <laughs> the rear end's out. <laughs> yeah, we can just jack it up and move it that way a bit. There you go. Thanks for watching Smoother's Backyard. I'd like to give a big shout out to Ray and his family for, um, you know, providing us with Betty White. The addition of Betty White's certainly put a spark back into the project of Krusty and we're looking forward to making more videos and just actual progress on Krusty. Uh, as well as having Rusty, which we've actually had Rusty for well over a year now, but I know it's pretty new to the viewers. So um, with all of that, uh, we're going to bring you more and keep it coming. So uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching Smoother's Backyard. Please like, share and subscribe if you want to, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Crusty. So Woody was just sitting there chewing his indestructible Kong. <laughs> what is it, Woody? It's April this time. You got it for Christmas. You got a new one this Christmas, just gone. And um, I think the last one made it to June. This one. April. Chewed it in half. Who says they're indestructible, eh? Not for Woody. <laughs> See? Woodrow.